Hi YouTube, thanks for coming back to my channel, Stay Forever True. Today I was really inspired to turn these black leggings into some bleach leggings. So I guess you can call it like a yoga pant type of design. Um, I would definitely wear these with, I don't know, maybe like some sandals or even boots. Um, just something nice and fun to do. I had a great time doing it so I originally saw this on Pinterest not the exact design but the concept of using bleach to um, to put designs on leggings so on Pinterest it was like just use a, um, a bleach pan so I bought a bleach pan yeah complete waste of money complete waste of money so let's get started as to how to make this so you can get inspiration from anything so these are certain designs that I just had um, this is my laptop case you can get inspiration from anything as far as the designs that you want to put on your leggings so yeah I got the bleach pan and I try to use it for one it's like it comes out like jelly like it's yeah it was it didn't work so what I had to do instead was use paint brushes and I'll show you the ones that I use so um, th basically with this you can use like geometric shapes or you can um, if you doodle a lot then you know what I'm talking about as far as like just certain shapes and designs that you draw and you write out um, just have fun with it and just freestyle it so I did one side and in hindsight the next time I'm gonna do it I'm just gonna do um, do one side do both sides at the same time if that makes any sense I'll tell you all about it later so what I used was this bamboo mat that I got from the dollar store but you can definitely use cardboard or something just to put in between the leggings so that the bleach doesn't bleed into the um, the other side the front side so I just use this because it was there <laughs> it was like right by me I was like oh I can use this because it I can um manipulate the shape I was able to fold it up and everything so that was cool only thing is whatever you put underneath it make sure it's kind of flat that way um, it won't mess with your design if it's like too bumpy it'll mess with your design so I kind of had some problems with that but I was able to straighten it out here and there So don't get intimidated with this like just just freestyle it if it doesn't come out the way you want it to come out just you know wear them around the house or wear them when you go to the gym or wear them you know if you're just going out to do yoga it's not a big deal just have fun with it now with your pan leg make sure that you keep the crease so earlier you saw it was like a crease on the left side make sure you keep that crease because you want it to be equal so whatever you put in between it, make sure you still make sure you keep the crease on the side and you basically work off the inseam. So what I was saying is I would have rather done it side by side versus just doing one side and then doing the whole other side, just doing both sides at the same time as far as my design. So I put bleach in a, that's just a votive candle holder. And these are the paint brushes that you can use. You can still like, say if you did this with like kids, you know. You can still use like uh, dollar store paint brushes or even now I would use dollar store paint brushes if I wanted to. It's just this is what I had around me though. And you can you don't even have to use paint brushes. You can even use like um, a Q-tip. You can use makeup sponges because they have the design. You can just dip the bleach into it and then put it on there. But before you do anything, make sure you test it on a fabric. So I had like an old hoodie that already had like bleach stains all over it. And I just use that um, to test everything out. So when you dip your paintbrush into the bleach, make sure you wipe the excess off on the side of the um, votive candle holder or whatever you're using. And keep the freaking container away from the pan of uh, the pants as far away as you can. Because what if you just spill it all over the place? And I didn't even think about it. Like I was doing this on my floor, and I, I didn't even think about the fact that like it could have got on the carpet. I wasn't even thinking, but it didn't happen. So. So I didn't even have a design in mind when I did this. I just started drawing. So like I said, just play around with it. It's just, it's all up to you. If you want to, you can draw it out first, what you want to do, or just sit down, chill, play some music and just have fun with it. It's not a big deal. You know, I think sometimes with creativity, we think we have to be perfect and we have to do it the way somebody else did it or whatever. I was like, I don't care. I'm just gonna just draw it and just see what happens and I really like the way it came out so what you'll notice is when you're doing it it'll start off if you look on the right it's a lot lighter than the one that I'm drawing on the left so it's gonna start off looking like this um, I 
guess like a, a amber color or like a rust color and then it gets lighter over time the more you let it sit there So I got these leggings from for Forever 21. I had to look and find out how much they were. I will put that in the comment, not the comments, in the um, description box. I'll tell you how much they were. And they fit really good. They're like the basic leggings that you can get there. They have so many different colors. I bought quite a few different colors. And I think I'm going to do another video showing um, other colors that I've used I haven't done them I haven't done any yet only just the black but I'm gonna do another video with a different design maybe a different way of designing it um, probably not using the paintbrushes probably using something else so this is the first time that I saw something on Pinterest and I actually did it versus you know food of course like you know you see food on Pinterest and you try the recipe out but this is the first time I saw something like creative or DIY and I was like, I can do that. I can totally do that. So the reason why you wipe off the excess um, bleach is because you don't want it to be too saturated. Just have a light touch. And if you have to do, you know, go back and draw on there again, that's fine. But just have a light touch to begin with. So the brush that I used for the most part was that shader brush that I showed you before. It's an angle brush um, and it's 3 eighths. That's what it said on the, the uh, paint brush. And it worked really well. I mean you can try the, um, the regular bleach pens. You can try it. But for me and what I wanted it didn't. You see that mark right there? I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to cover that up. That freaking mark. I did something and I got bleach on that side that I did not mean to do. I'm going to show y'all how to fix it. But yeah, you can use a bleach pen, but I mean, it just depends on the, the look that you're going for. For what I was going for, I didn't want to use it because it was just too thick and it was just, I really couldn't control the amount of bleach that was coming out. So I just felt like it was just going to be a mess. But with the paintbrush, you, you're able to control and you can have more fine, you know, um, precise strokes. Okay. So I remember I had this art teacher um, back in elementary school and she was like, you know, if you make a mistake, don't change it. If you have a mistake, do not change it. Just use it. Just just incorporate it into what you're doing. Don't erase it. Don't do that. And I like I, for some reason, I just held on to it. And this teacher, I swear I had her like in fourth grade, like, but for some reason, like that resonated me, with me. I guess like that was just like um, a life lesson. You know, if you make mistakes, don't try to cover it up. Just just deal with it. And, you know think a lot of times that's why we don't want to do things creatively we feel like we don't have the time or it's not going to come out the way we want it to or you know it's just oh I, I can't do that but I mean you can just try it what's the worst that could happen you ruin a pair of like four dollar leggings that's the worst that could happen and I don't know about y'all but I wear leggings like around the house all the time so it wouldn't even matter to me I would just wear them I don't care how they look as long as they're comfortable I just like tight <laughs> tight pants when I walk around the house for some reason I don't know but yeah just play around with it and try it out and I think you could do this with kids only thing with kids is that when you show them something and you do it like in a supervised you know way and then you turn around and try to they they try to do it by themselves and you're like really I told you that to do it with me and now you have bleach all over your house and yeah so I don't maybe kids that are a little older you can do it with them so I switched up my paint brushes and I used a more um, I don't even know what you would call this this paintbrush it has a more fine tip it's not shaded and I really liked using these dots it was just, I don't know, just a, I like the way it looks.
and so further down I didn't have anything um, in between the leggings and the back of the leggings and the front of the leggings like I had put that um, that mat in between it towards the top yeah I didn't have anything in between it so I had I had drew really lightly so it wouldn't bleed into the front so I'm now I'm showing you all how I'm cleaning up that bleach spot so I wasn't this was not originally what I planned on doing um, but since I made a mistake I was like you know what let me just make it into a design and I'm using that same fine tip pen and so what I decided to do was just move them closer to each other so I could kind of kind of like a, as if I was drawing just on one pant leg and something to remember like when I said make sure that you keep your seams on the inseam and the outseam make sure you keep that so they're just all even make sure also that you line up the pant legs at the bottom otherwise you're gonna have a design like halfway up your leg and the other one's gonna be halfway down your leg so make sure that bottom is, is all even So before I went into nursing school, and if you all are interested about nursing or um, CNA or healthcare in general or like my career and what I've been working on or going back to school, check out my other channel, um, Your, Y-O-U-R, Fave, F-A-V, Nurse, just like the way nurse is spelled, and then the letter B, Your Fave, Nurse B, um, is my other channel. You can find that on my um, homepage as well. And I'm talking about, you know, my career and how I became a nurse and school and all this crazy stuff that happens in my job. I just started, so I'm going to be putting up some new videos soon. But before I went into nursing school, I was really creative. I did a lot of creative stuff. I did jewelry, um, candles. I did my hair more. And, like, I was a lot more into um, just, like, just the creative self. And, like, I kind of lost that when I went to school, I guess, because my focus was on my education and my career. And now I'm trying to get back. Now I'm getting back into doing it. And I'm really grateful for YouTube because it's helping me to, it's kind of holding me accountable for it, even though you all didn't ask for these type of videos. It's like kind of holding me accountable because I'm like, you know what? I want to put it out there and show people, you know, you can, you can be creative. You can have fun. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to go to school or you don't have to be like the best, you know, artist or whatever. You can just have fun with it. And it's a way to relieve stress. And it's just a way to just create things and be productive, I guess, you know? And it, it really is a stress reliever. I had such a good time making this video. It was just so fun. And if you're like super duper anal about, you know, the way things look, you can pull out a ruler if you're doing like the dots like I have going down the, um, the, the bottom, going down the whole back. If you have that and you want it to be complete, perfectly straight you can pull out a ruler if you have to you know I know some people they're like no uh-uh it has to be perfect but that's the way the design looks I had such a good time with doing this so I also decided to do my um what is that called waistband as well and I think these this design kind of reminds me of like the Taj Mahal like the domes and so just did that and I think that they changed the way that their leggings were last year. They didn't have this thick um, waistband, Forever 21. But I like it. So I chose not to do any designs on the front. I mean, no particular reason. I just really wanted to do something on the back of the pants. Yeah, I was trying to count how many I would have to put on that side. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't end up being the same amount on each side, but whatever. It's cool. So I afterwards I put these pans like I make sure that you let them dry completely because I was so excited to like finish this video that I put them on and I kind of like stretched the fabric and the bleach kind of like smeared a little bit on one of my designs on my pant leg. So I take the time to let them dry all the way. And then what I also did was I doused these pans in water just regular water so that I could stop the the uh, bleach from you know eating away at the fabric I thought I was like oh my gosh it's gonna eat through it so I was like let me just dip it in here or you could just throw them in the wash if you feel compelled to do that but they dry really easily 
so yeah i had fun doing this uh please subscribe if you haven't already comment let me know if you like this video if you want to see more you know creative videos or if you see something on pinterest that you think i might um want to try or you want to see how i you know adapt it um let me know hope you like the video remembering all that you do stay forever true peace